we know all the issues that have been going on with Liverpool of late, but they've gone 68 games had gone 68 games unbeaten at Anfield before losing to Burnley in January, which has now started this losing run at home. They lost their fifth home game in a row to Chelsea in midweek. It's sort of scarcely believable that they have gone from Anfield being a fortress to now a happy hunting ground. For I, was, I was going to say a shed. <laughs> from a fortress to a shed. Um, yeah, I cannot... I mean, there's so much that's happened to Liverpool. The The importance of today's game is more based on Fulham than Liverpool. Mm-hmm. I mean, Liverpool have just got to stop this dreadful run. Fulham are playing for survival in the Premier League. Um, I don't have great confidence um, about the way that Liverpool are playing. I think they're getting exposed so often in games, uh, certainly behind their back line, playing a high line. Teams are looking to get behind them and... And then for all the Liverpool fans who keep going back to Van Dijk you know, and Gomez, they did play in the 7-2 defeat. You mm. know, they did play at Watford when they lost 3-0 at the end of last season where there were signs of the teams were trying to get behind Liverpool. And yeah, they went top of the league and they looked fantastic for a period. Um, I think that there's a number of teams who really know the, what they have to do. And Chelsea's lineup stunk of a team to me that just went with one objective was to get behind the back line of Liverpool and expose them, exploit them, and they did it. We know all about the injury issues and, and how defensively yeah. they they have really been affected by it. Um, on Thursday, their centre-back partnership was the 19th different pairing that Jurgen Klopp has used. Uh, and you've talked about this this high line that, that, that they use. Do you think it... Jurgen Klopp has to maybe think of a plan B. Does he need to be a bit more pragmatic just to get through this period? No, the high line's fine mm. if you can stop the source yes. of the pass. Yes. It's it's fine. There's no problem with playing. I played in a number of teams that played a high line. But if you can't stop that pass, you are in trouble. Yeah. And that will you will get punished regularly, and they have been. And, you know, a lot of the goals are very similar where they've got him behind the Liverpool back line and... Oh, not only conceded goals, but conceded chances. You know, in the very first minute of the game, Anfield against Chelsea, we saw Timo Werner burst through. You know, with this first minute of the game. So their intentions were clear. With regard, we mentioned the defensive issues then for, for Liverpool, but they also have issues up front. In terms of it's just, they're not as effective as they were last season, that front three, shall we say. And they've taken one point from the last 21 on offer at home. And perhaps what, really tells the plight of, of their attacking options is that their last goal from open play at home came last year, December 27th. Yeah. There's like, they're breaking different records for the wrong reasons I'm not reasons putting a smile now. on your face. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I just don't see very many positives. Um, I believe in the manager. I think there will be a lot of changes this summer. Um, I don't know how big of a budget they're going to get, but I think, you know, reading... They're hopefully saved money by them being aggressive in the summer window. They'll get through. I don't want them to buy a centre half. Everybody's keep saying centre half. They're getting three back in the summer, getting three centre halves back. Mm-hmm. I think they can buy in other positions. They might choose to let one or two go, uh, maybe one big one that people wouldn't have seen coming. Jurgen Klopp said yes, he doesn't want to have players that don't want to play for the club or think the grass is greener elsewhere. I'm happy with that. I, I, you know, I'd never want players. If I was managing, I'd never want a player to think he's doing me a favour playing for my football club. 